I haven't even stepped into the main room, and there's already a trio of corpses laying by the doorway. And they're in the way too. You couldn't have moved off to the side before dying? Lazy assholes. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Don't think being dead changes anything. Stinky middle feet. With a name like that, I'm not surprised you're all hacked up. Guess this is karma for the weird convenience store fiasco. Wasn't expecting something so literal, but hell, it beats standing behind a counter and getting pestered by annoying customers and co-workers all day. Where is that awful noise coming from? Is this some sort of sick joke? Is this the coal in my stocking? I'm gonna lose my mind by the end of this simulation if I have to listen to any more festive bells. Let's see here. If I do this. Much better. Man, Santa really went to town. If he used any more firepower, he'd have brought down the ceiling as well. Can't say I abhor his methods. Even if he's a bit too artistic for my tastes. Wonderful. I was looking forward to potentially getting a blade through the eye today. Huh. <sighs> Might as well at least try and figure out what led to the big man going postal. I'd probably be a tad more sympathetic if I wasn't the one having to clean up your- Is that fucking dynamite? Well that definitely explains how he made such a big hole in the wall, but holy hell, there's so much! Was he planning on conquering the entire elven race? Or stuff this inside naughty children's Christmas stockings this year? And those bottles right next to it. Hold up a second. It's a Molotov cocktail! This idiot had Molotov sitting right next to his dynamite. The dumb shit could have blown himself away if anything would have liked them prematurely. I'm beginning to think Santa's more incompetent than clever. Why else would he have put those two things together? Hell, it explained why he pinned the elves to the building. In any case, I should find a way to safely dispose of- I think I've already got an idea of what's underneath these floorboards. Uh-huh. You're not very original, Santa. I need to start figuring out how I'm gonna dispose of these corpses. Preferably all at once, because I ain't hauling little Tinkles and his merry crew one by one. Not sure why I was expecting things to look better up here. It's the complete opposite. And there's still another room I haven't checked out yet. Okay. Let's take this one step at a time. What's this do? Alright. What 
What about you? Perfect. Come, half elf. It's time to warm up by the fireplace. Oh, that's not good. Can't say this hasn't happened before, but the timing here is impeccable. Can I just. <clears throat> nope. What if I. Come on, get out. <clears throat> well, this is rather unfortunate. I apologize for interrupting everybody's holiday cheer with breaking news. It seems like the happiest time of the year won't be so wonderful for a very long. A dastardly fiend is among us and has stunned the unthinkable. They made up with the entire holiday. Sources claim the thief was none other than a crown. Yes, that's right, Hawk. A crown has stolen your Christmas. And in other unrelated holiday news, a young man has recently been admitted into a mental institution after his parents caught him rambling about blue spirits possessing demons, even going so far as to scrawl odd and indecipherable formulas all over his walls. If that wasn't strange enough, when pressed for answers, he merely repeated the phrase, the ancient god. Doctors are currently hard at work to figure out what could have happened and ruined this individual's Christmas day. Fucking psychopath. Jeez, talk about disrespectful. The language on that newscaster is fucking atrocious. I like it. Now if I can get this goddamn... Someone's been working out. I'm not sure whether I should be impressed or surprised at the fact old Saint Nick was able to scalp his reindeer and impale the elf. Gotta give the fat man credit where credit is due. He sure knows his way around the massacre. Besides, who knows what those elves were up to anyways. reindeer corpses. Pieces of them are still scattered around, but when it comes to a full body, absolutely fucking nothing. Out of everything I had to be surrounded by, why is it just dead elves? Where's the goddamn reindeer? I wanted to see the one with the glowing red nose.
Eh, close enough. Phenomenal work, if I do say so myself. Just gotta get to the last two rooms and I should be... Oh, I missed a box. I have sworn I discarded all the bodies. Wait a minute. Didn't I place all the dynamite in... Shit!
what's this? That castle is what you would call a Christmas present. I'm aware of that. I mean, what's it doing here? In fact, what are you still doing here? I have been assigned to this terminal so that- I thought everything in this room was supposed to be disposed of, effective immediately. Hmm. That was the original intention, yes. Then why hasn't this place been stripped clean yet? Does it matter? This mild affair has been resolved for some time now. Further inquiry is unnecessary. Unnecessary? Blue, I swung a makeshift crucible at you and damaged your terminal. We shouldn't even be having this conversation right now. This right here? It's all tech. They wouldn't waste the time nor resources to repair this stuff unless there was a damn good reason for it. I've been preparing myself to step into an empty room again for what I did to you. And yet you're all still here. There isn't anyone in this facility who'd help me like that. Not anymore. So yes, it does matter. Our superiors were less than pleased after your little outburst. I was to be retrofitted with tighter ethical constraints, while you were to be transferred to a more secure location, deeper within the facility. Everything within this room would have been confiscated and likely destroyed. However, I persuaded them to reconsider their decision and allow us to remain together in this very room. With your precious creations intact, I have invested far too much time into this enterprise for it to be pilfered by an assembly of pusillanimous directors. Regardless of what transpires here, I intend to see it through to the end. Of all the people who go the distance for me, you were the last person I'd expect. Think nothing more of it. Now, if we're finished lingering on this irrelevant subject, I suggest we return our attention towards a more pressing matter. You will find its contents most satisfactory. How do you manage to convince them to let me keep this? This room has become something of a safe haven for you. It is why you've chosen to decorate this one empty space with those makeshift toys. Confiscating your hard work would lead to a regression, thus hindering my progress. I can't believe I'm actually enjoying a holiday for once. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I'd finally gone insane. Wish there was something I could give you in return, though. Save your altruism. I do not require gifts. Merry Christmas, Blue. <sighs> I suppose. Merry Christmas.